I'm going to talk about some additions on the Canon EOS R6 and the Canon EOS R5 that no one is talking about. I have the three EOS R cameras starting with the EOS R, the new EOS R6 and of course the top of the range EOS R5. They're very much similar sized cameras, not much difference, it's very much similar in the hand, very good to handle. Now there is three options of changing the menu, the wheel which is introduced back to this camera, the touch of course which is my favorite and also the joystick which, is, which has been added to this camera which you can change everything with the joystick and also control it. Canon has also upgraded some of the menu functions which is much better especially if you're using video. The EOS R5 has an LCD screen on top of the camera like the EOS R, quite simple by changing the camera settings you can see all the exposures and all the settings. The EOS R6 has a knob on top so you can change the settings by rotating the knob. There's a new infrared sensor that you can activate the camera with the remote. There's the introduction of depth of field button which also can be set for other functions. They've also introduced on the left bottom side of the camera a remote control connection like this so you can control the shutter release of the camera. One of my favorite features of the EOS R which has been introduced to these new cameras is the lock of the shutter when you turn the camera off so it protects the sensor from getting dust on it. The Q button has been removed to the top so there is a new button added, the Q button. There's more, more buttons there to control the camera better. Canon has not officially announced the still photography file format. So we know there's RAW, we know there's a JPEG, but we, there should be more settings, more file sizes. So we, sh we should know all these details when the production camera is in our hands. These are the video recording sizes for the EOS R5, 8K video and also 4K high frame rate. The new EOS R cameras also can record 10 bit on the SD card. When Canon announced the EOS R5, they told us that it has 8K, but also they told us that it's only 20 minutes recording. After that, the camera switches off simply to protect the camera. Very normal for a small camera like this. It doesn't have fans. If it had fans, it was going to be too big for us to take pictures or to carry it. 8K, 20 minutes is a lot of B-roll time. If you're shooting B-rolls, that's amazing. If you like to shoot more than 20 minutes, there's two solutions. Solution one, buy more than one body EOS R5. So buy two, three, four, and just rotate. That's a great solution and not expensive. Or the second option is to spend $20,000 for a good 8K camera. I'm so excited about the Canon EOS R and EOS R6. These are amazing cameras. I had them in my hand. They look amazing, but I still haven't had the chance to capture with these cameras, video or pictures, because the cameras I had in my hand are pre-production cameras. So I'm not allowed to use those cameras for capture. But once I have the production camera in hand, I'm going to go out, shoot people, shoot model, shoot everything. And I'm going to give you a nice review of those two cameras. If you like to see my images, this is my Instagram page. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ding dong. Thank you guys. Love you.